I had done other programs of building in my other parishes that I've been, of just building small faith communities, and I've just found it to be such a wonderful thing for the parish. Uh, church just makes so much more sense when you start it in a small group. Church, everything about church makes so much more sense, I found, when you have uh, individual people that you can connect with, uh, that you get to know on a, a more than just sitting next to them at church level, uh, you get to know them personally. Jesus started, Jesus didn't start by putting an announcement of the bullet in. He started by small, a small group, and that small group learned about each other and supported each other, and they stuck together, and everything made so much more sense. Things seemed so much more possible when you did that. As a priest, from, and I've been ordained 37 years, for almost all of those years, I've been part of a small faith community for priests, like a small support group. Um, and I just know that has made it, it a transformative, life-giving, peace-filling, uh, that those, those groups have made a significant difference in my life. So to me, especially in the days we live, we live in times when um, our culture would want us to be divisive. They'd want to figure out all the reasons why we shouldn't be able to talk together or why we shouldn't sit, be able to sit together at a table. And Be My Witnesses offers just the opposite. Be My Witness help remind our people that our parish is a home and that we are family. It wasn't even a couple weeks in before I heard people telling stories of reconciliations, uh, two people that were uh, that hadn't spoken to each other in a number of years, reconciled people coming to church who were not Catholic, somebody brought their neighbor who wasn't Catholic, who now comes to church. Um, and just the people who even were friends who have become even better friends or are part of church and become even better or more committed uh, to both their faith and to each other. So it, it has exceeded what I would have hoped for. One of the things I had really hoped for was we have different ethnicities. Um, and one of the places I was starting, was trying to start, was liturgies, like trying to have bilingual masses. And so one of the people I had asked about um, what are ways to do that, they said, well, start with social stuff. Well, we already are just so good at that. Like our, our parishioners are so good that it doesn't matter, Filipino, Hispanic, Caucasian, you know, they, everybody was together at the St. Patrick's Day party. Uh, we are in the process of redoing one of our meeting rooms and it's, it's being, the program is being led by the Hispanic community, but the joy with which that community and all the communities work together with taking down walls and putting down floors and you know, fixing bathrooms, um, the joyfulness, it's not just the work they're getting done, which is great, but it's the joyfulness that they're doing it with uh, that is just so inspiring. And I, I, I can't say it's all being my witness, but it surely, is a significant part, be my witness, is a significant part of that. In all the other places I've been, they've had a small faith community program or something like it. Uh, so I just talked about the significance of that. There's always a little, especially when you start talking about groups, start talking about sharing, people can be a little hesitant, but I think once the people started talking about it, um, the people that were doing it, and then what they did every weekend at the announcements at mass, we shared what the discussion questions were about at Be My Witness in, in church in general so that everybody heard what the questions were. So it was like, hmm. So I think it's gonna be a little easier. I, I'm thinking that we might get more people the next time because they're like, wow, that, you know, I did hear some of those things and I talked to some of those people and they said that it was. It, it, it helped rejuvenate their faith. It was transformative in their hope. It, it helped them find peace or the Lord in each other. All the things that we as pastors want uh, our parish to do, to, to communicate better with each other, um, to learn more about their faith, it is so hard to do it when you're talking about 2,000 families or 3,000 families. If you could get a group of six people to do it, it just seems so much more possible. Then you know, you know, there's a possibility now that I could get the rest of the group to do this. Uh, so it is a way to begin to uh, take the things you dream about or vision as a pastor and kind of experiment or see if this could work. And if you see it working and it comes to life and people's lives are changed or transformed, it just kind of takes a life of its own then. I would recommend it to other parishes because it's a way 
for you to uh, live your vision or to help your vision um, be communicated to your people.